A trademark is a mark that is used by a manufacturer or merchant to identify the origin or ownership of goods and to distinguish them from others, and the use of which is protected by law. Trademark protection must be applied for, can be renewed indefinitely, and is used by commercial or corporate entities. Some examples are the Pepsi logo, the Nike swoosh, and Michael Buffer's Let's Get Ready to Rumble. A patent is an official document showing that a person has the exclusive right to make and sell an invention. Patent protection must be applied for. The application must demonstrate that the invention is unique and the patent cannot be renewed after it expires. Some patented items you are probably familiar with are your phone's touchscreen, windshield wipers, and ibuprofen. Copyright is legal protection for the owner or originator of an original work, which extends to the licensing of the work for use by others. Copyright covers many forms of intellectual property, including books, artwork, drama, film, media broadcasts, speeches, magazine articles, and music compositions and performance, as well as computer programs. Copyright protection is automatic as long as there is a fixed and tangible expression, either in print or digital format. Protection extends beyond the life of the creator and can be transferred, but cannot be renewed. Some examples are the software using to view this video, your textbook for this class, and the paper we will be handing in later this semester. Trademarked items are easy to identify as they have that little TM or R symbol following them. And while you interact with patented items on a daily basis, they probably aren't going to show up in your research papers. However, you will frequently use copyright information during the research process. Nearly every article, book, chapter, photo, video, song, drawing, or sculpture has some sort of copyright attached to it. So it's important for you to know how to navigate the rules and restrictions around copyright to avoid getting into trouble.